Hi, everybody, along with Ray Ferraro down at ice level. My name is James Sabalski. Hershey's thinking sweep here tonight, but how dangerous is complacency when you've got such a big lead here, Ray? Uh, not at all. I don't think anybody gets complacent in the playoff. You want to put the final nail in the coffin as fast as you can. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. The Bears get a hold of the puck along the boards. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Hershey's looking to break out of their own end. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Sends a pass over. Good use of the body on the play. From the left side, takes it at center. Hammers a shot. Couldn't light the lamp on that. What a chance. Sometimes the puck just doesn't go where you want to finish it. He makes a good shot, but he can't capitalize. Here's a shot. Big save. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Smith won it off the faceoff. Slides the puck over. Gains the zone through center. Play whistled dead because of an offside. Smith won it. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Quick feed to Carr. The Bears looking against the half wall. Puck grabbed by Thomas. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Hangs onto the puck. Slides it back to the blue line. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Takes it at center. The Bears played along the boards. Wrist one in front. Misses over the net. Most dangerous place on the ice. And he can't capitalize. And that's blocked away. The Crunch have the puck against the boards. The Bears ready to go on the attack. Excellent stick work on the play. Smith's picking up steam. Look out, a two-on-one. Quick shot. Stones up with the blocker. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. The Bears have it now. Handles the puck. Steps across the blue line. Sean comes up with the stop. Sends the pass over. From the slot, scores! Listen to this place. What a start for them. Get the game's first goal. Now they have to keep the pressure on. You want to use the player in front of the net as a screen if you can. This time, it's just about perfect. I don't think the goaltender ever picks it up. Hershey's got a 1-0 lead, and they've got their crowd on their feet here. Early on, the entertainment is here. Early lead for the home team, the first goal in the first five minutes, and now you push for another. Syracuse moves ahead with the puck. The Crunch have taken possession in their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Costs it up on the play. Gets it to the other point. Here he is in front! Syracuse has it near the wall. Penalty coming up. And play comes to an end as someone is heading to the sin bin. Pretty hard to argue the holding call on this one, Ray. Yeah, but he's trying to hold him for just a second and get away with it, but he got burned on it. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. 
They've been running around trying to get this game tied up. They earn a power play, and now they'll have that chance. Quick puck movement always seems to work best for them. Move to the middle. Wrist shot from the slot, and that's blocked. And the puck clears the zone. Syracuse has possession of it now. Off the left wing and into center. From one point man to another. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Plays the puck up ahead. You saw the lane there, James. That's a good pass. Couldn't complete the play. He scores! Putting the special in special teams. Now the coaches have been talking about a few new wrinkles on the power play. They moved the puck nicely, and the puck is in the back of the net on the power play. I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this at all, James. He just drops into the butterfly. He's hoping the thing hits him through that traffic. Nearing the midway mark of the period. We are all tied up in this one. Syracuse wins it. Gaunts has the puck against the half wall. Hershey's moving it up the ice. And we've got a two on one. From the slot, Rishon, he scores! His first career playoff goal! He was saying to a couple guys this morning he thought he was going to be able to score soon. Looks like he's right. Really quick puck movement always helps when you've got the extra man. The defenders just don't catch up to it, and it ends up in the net. Hershey's been preaching better starts. They've got that with a one-goal lead, Ray. They've got the lead. It's in the first period. There's lots of game left, but their coaches are talking about staying on the front foot to be aggressive. The Bears will play it in their own end. Nothing doing on that. The Crunch have possession along the boards, and it's kicked away. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. That knocks them off the puck. Receives the pass. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Handles the puck at the point. Right on the doorstep. Oh, aggressive move as he pokes it away. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. The Bears gain possession along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Rips it and rips it. Oh, what a save by Gibson. Syracuse has the puck. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. And now it's grabbed by foot. Directed over to Smith. Takes the pass. And now he angles it across to foot. Here's a chance right in the slot. Stones him in front. Oh, he snaps the glove save off there. Excellent chance in the slot. Everybody likes to think of themselves as a little bit of a clutch performer. If you score at this time of the year, you are that. More than half the frame has been played here. Hershey's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. And he slides in quickly to Sprong. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Gains the zone through the middle. Hershey's got a hold of it along the wall. Carr's got the puck now here inside his own defensive zone. Hershey's looking to break out. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Moves the puck. Moves it to Carr. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. The Crunch have gained possession off the wall. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Hammers it on net. Denies him. He got all of it. Here's a short pass to Smith. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. 
trying to get back on the attack now. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. What a steal in his own end. Break away. What a stop by the goalie. Yeah, he looked really confident. Out on top of the crease, followed the shooter and made the stop. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Syracuse has it in the defensive end. Picking up some steam at center ice. Syracuse has it against the half wall. Keeps hold of the puck. Gives them nothing in front. Takes the feed. Nice pass. Syracuse takes possession along the wall. Along the half wall with the puck. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Syracuse walking that line. Blocker save. Good save. Positional save through traffic. Copley's able to make the save, as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. Late goings of this period. Hershey's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Syracuse wins the draw here in the offensive zone. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Feeds the puck to Strong. Can't maintain possession. Syracuse gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Hershey's got possession at center. Strong defensive effort. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Hershey's got it in the offensive zone. Syracuse gains a hold of possession. Nice zone entry from the middle. Strong defensive effort. Moves the puck down low. Takes the feed at the point. Shot right in front. Turns it aside with the glove. The setters will glide into the dot. Joseph's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Off a stick. The Bears take it along the wing. Here they come, three of them. Scores! That's two unanswered now. Now they stayed right on it. Once they got that first one, they just pushed the pace of this. Now they get another. out of the zone on the odd man. We get a look at it here, James, and there's nobody in place defensively to spoil this, and it's in the net. Hershey's won it. Puck scooped up by Johansson. And loses possession after a solid hit. Syracuse plays it along the boards. Stays with it. Centering pass. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Great pass from the left wing. The Bears take it across the line. Syracuse gets the puck near the boards. Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. Gets in front of it. Gontz was talking about his missed chances earlier today. It all adds up to a pointless streak that he can't seem to break. Here in the late goings of the period, Hershey's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Takes the feed. Taken by Smith. Picks up the puck in his own end. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Smith's getting called for tripping on the play. I always found this a frustrating penalty to take. There's really no aggression to it. You're trying to steal the puck, but you end up clipping the guy down. Hershey's sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. 
Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Oh, he might be shaking his head after that one. Pretty good shot. Nice delivery of the shot, but the goaltender beats him. The Bears have it behind the net. And he connects with the long bomb. There's the horn ending the first period. It went back and forth, and it's a close one here. If you want to show us your accuracy, register now for our Shoot to Win contest, where one lucky fan will shoot a puck from center ice to try and win an exciting prize. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Second period set to go. Syracuse wins the draw here to start the period, but still have a long way to go to kill off this penalty. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Hershey's got it in their own zone. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Sends a pass over. Oh! That hurt from here. He didn't take anything out of that hit. He delivered it really as hard as he could. Goodness. That goes wide. You don't get the puck dead center very often. He's got to capitalize. You wonder if that'll come back to haunt them. Power play has expired. Denied that one. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. Foot used all of his weight to lay this hit along the board. Really solid contact. Lots of time left in this period. Hershey's got a 3-1 lead. Pilos won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Puts it towards the net. Makes it look easy with a glove. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Joseph's won the faceoff. Through center along the wing. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. The Bears will play it from the defensive zone. Can't keep a hold of it. Handles it along the blue line. Moves it quickly over to Joseph. Blocker save. Copley's been sharp when he's had to be. He's got a good save percentage here tonight. And his team's in good shape. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Into the corner, he takes the pass. Here's a chance, fires the wrist shot. And a strong effort on that play. He's working hard to find this puck. There's all kinds of traffic in front of him, and he gets to it before the puck gets to him. From point blank range. Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one. Yeah, it's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great story chance, and he turns it aside. The Bears will go to work here in the offensive zone. Stick save. Slides the puck over. The Crunch have taken to the offensive attack. Here's a chance. Turns it away. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too. So there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Copley's done nice work here on this scoring chance to turn it aside. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Hershey's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Can't connect! The Bears gain possession in their own end. Handles the puck. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. 
They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Oh, how you doing the double G. The great glove save. The centermen glide into position. Steps in and takes the puck. Tees off the one-timer. Makes the save as he gets a piece of it with the glove. Taken along the wall by Johansson. All alone. Oh, what a stop. He scores. It looked like he had made the save, but that's in the back of the net for a goal. Some guys like to shoot. Some guys like to deke. You can shoot the puck like that on a breakaway. I'd pick that as option A. The Bears have now extended the lead yet again, and they show no signs of letting up here. No, now they're having some fun here. This is like a scoring practice for them. Good defensive effort to poke it away. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Schilling's taking it from his own end. Hershey's in now. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Jostling for the puck, but still moves away. The Bears have it against the wall. Sends the pass over. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. No one home on that play. Passes the puck over to foot. Receives the pass. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Hershey's got the puck in their own end. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Sends it in on the attack. Tries to get the puck to Winkowski. Syracuse is on the attack. Can't hang on after that hit. The Bears are in transition. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Snaps one on net. Oh, a clutch save! And no hiding how good he's been in these playoffs. One of the league leaders in points. Really tough to slow him down. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, the Bears are giving their fans a lot to cheer about tonight as they lead it 4-1. Stopped by the goaltender. Save made by the goalie. After the first stop, he's in good position to make a second. Great poise here as he gets it back. Syracuse has it in the open ice. Loose puck battle along the boards. Hershey's got a hold of it against the wall. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. And that's broken up. Puck dumped in. The Bears scoop it up along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Quick pass to Sprong. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Denies him with the blocker. What a stop by Gibson. Air mails it over the net. We got half of it right. He got rid of it quick, but he shot it too high. It's not even a shot on net. We got a minor penalty coming up For here sure, on this one. sure, James. I mean, this call was going to be made. You could see the play develop, and now they're going to have to serve two minutes. Hershey's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. The power play can be so frustrating when you get an opportunity and it doesn't go well. You start to press pretty quickly into it. Now's the time to relax, readjust, and attack again. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played, and we've got a 4-1 hockey game. The Bears win the faceoff. Chaps the puck away from the top of the offensive zone here. And that one's broken up. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Syracuse will try to kill a few seconds off this penalty. Puck move back to center, forcing them to regroup. The Bears gain possession along the wall. 
Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. One last gas to make something happen on this power play. It doesn't really matter that the power play didn't score. They've got such a nice lead. But I'll tell you, as a guy that made a living on the power play, I wanted to score every time I was out there. Puck picked up by foot. Feeds it over to Smith. They go on the attack from the left side. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Takes the pass. Up along the wing. Hershey's got it across the line. Referee's hit, and will play on as that goes off the inside of the post. Official blows the whistle. Let's see what the call is. The crunch have been called for tripping on the play. They're going to be down a man here. Once he gets his stick into the player's feet, it's almost inevitable a tripping penalty will result. Tough to argue that call. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. The Bears take possession off the face-off. Centering pass! Driving right to the front! Scores! That's how you try off with the extra attacker. Well, you've got the extra man, so you want to move the puck more quickly. You want to retrieve it with greater numbers. They do it all well, and they're on the board. Oh, we can see on the replay here, the goalie just gets a little piece of this shot, not near enough. It's in the net. Syracuse is going to make a change in goal. I'm not so sure the guy coming into the game is going to feel so excited. Their team has just been destroyed tonight. Hershey's on cruise control now. Is that fair to say? It is, and it looks like they're going to try and get another couple of goals here. They're not letting down at all. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. By number 42. Can't catch up to the pass. Battle along the boards. And a hook check knocks the puck away. Hershey's got a hold of it along the wall. Puts it in deep. The Crunch have the puck in the defensive zone. Syracuse looks to break out in their own end. Nice poke check. The Bears gain control of the puck against the wall. Solid check to slow him down. Long lead pass up the center. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Pokes it away in his own end. Syracuse takes possession along the wall. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Quick pass to Thomas. Here's a chance. Takes it into the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. The Bears played along the boards. The Crunch have gained control of the puck along the wall. Hershey's gained possession and pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Stopped by the goaltender. Witkowski's the leader of this team. It's the captain. Even though they're way down, he's got to make sure that nobody quits on the game. That's part of his role. Takes a shot, and there's the save. Quick feed to Colton. That pass doesn't go. Moves the puck. Puts it on net. Denied by the goaltender. The Bears get a hold of the puck along the boards. His reflexes on display tonight. Quick feed down low. Quick feed down low. With the stop. And they can't connect. Moves it to Colton. Syracuse moves it ahead. And the middle frame almost done. In the second period. Smart defensive play there. Here's the pass. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Copley's right on top of this scoring chance. Nowhere for the puck to go. 
just here in the late stages of this frame, the Bears have been all over them tonight. 5-1 is where we sit. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Hershey's got the puck along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Sprong. There's a shot, and that one's stopped. There's the horn ending period number two. I'm not sure they wanted it to end. Did you know that season ticket holders get special discounts and access to insider information? Check our website for details. And we'll be right back for what should be a very intriguing third. Two down, one to go. Third period, they're ready to drop the puck. 20 minutes to go here in regulation of what has been a very one-sided affair. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Syracuse played much of this game at the pace they want to. They've had the puck a lot. They just haven't been able to even the score. Turns them away! Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Here's a short pass to Joseph. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. On the attack along the boards. Puts it to the front of the net. And a great save. Martin's on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Carr's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same. You wear the same suit all the time. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Long pass into the neutral zone. Love the way he moved that puck up quickly. Hershey's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. The Crunch have gained possession off the wall. We got a penalty coming up on the play as the referee extends his hand in the air. Play comes to a stop, and let's see what the call is. Charging the call on the play. Traveled too much distance to make that hit. Send their man advantage unit out once more. Time to get back to work on a power play that's already scored tonight. Don't change much. Keep working away in the same manner. From the right side, they gain the zone. Manages to hang on. He scores and serves up a drink at it. I don't know why goalies don't make sure that bottle isn't locked in there. That would really make me sour to see the bottle go up in the air. Uh, sometimes you just got to... Put your hands up and say, I can't do any more than that. He did all he could to try and stop that puck. Syracuse back at center ice and hungry maybe for more if they can get something. Yeah, they can't even stop here. They get your scorers out there, James. Attack, attack, attack. Hope your goalie makes a save if he needs to. Grabs the puck at center. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Hershey's got the puck along the wall. Along the wing up the neutral zone. The Bears carry it along the wall. Hammers the shot. And that banks off a stick. The Bears take it along the wall. Hershey's got the puck against the half wall. Stopped by the goaltender. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. And now that's picked up by the defense. And a successful clearing attempt. Oh, the power play melts away. They don't get anything on it. I don't think it's particularly important because they've got such a nice lead here. They just want to run the clock out. 
They go on the attack through center. Moves it around along the half wall. Snaps it on net. Denies it in front. Yeah, he makes a nice save here with the glove, as you mentioned. But he's able to hang on to it. That's a tough save from this position on the ice. Hershey's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Musa quickly over to Pilo. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. And a tenacious effort pays off as he comes up with it. And he slides it quickly to Carr. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Puck grabbed by Sprong. Takes a shot. Stops him with a glove. Hershey's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. There's the whistle penalty coming up. The Crunch have to spend the next two minutes under man. His stick gets in between his feet, and when the player goes down, the penalty's going to be called. Hershey's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Well, they've earned another power play, James. Of course, that starts with an offensive zone faceoff. They've had success earlier in the game. They'll want to double up on that now if they can. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Streaking into the attacking zone from the right. Move into the middle. Tease him up. Wrist shot from the slot. Denies him in close. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Passes it to Pilo. Quick pass to Sprong. Big play inside the defensive zone. Puts it on net. He scores! Oh, what a finish and sends the water bottle flying. A goal is a goal, but when the bottle pops, you go back to the bench feeling pretty good about yourself. It's popping bottles tonight. He swept this one up over the goalie's glove. The room wasn't there until the goalie dropped into the butterfly, maybe a little early, opened up some space up top. Hershey's only continued to extend the lead here in the third. They haven't missed many chances. They've scored at will and now are coasting home. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Syracuse has it near the wall. Hershey's looking to break out of their own end. From center, they get into the attacking area. And he regains control of the puck. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Witkowski. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Whiffs on that, and they can't convert to the play. Pass right on the doorstep, can't connect. The Bears take it along the wall. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And the parade to the penalty box will continue as play is called for yet another penalty. Woodkowski's actions pretty evident in the eyes of the officials here for tripping. Reaching out for the puck. I guess it's a little bit of a bad play. You've got to realize the guy's getting away. Let him go before you take the penalty. The official's making him pay for it. Syracuse wins the draw. Woodkowski, two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, 9 minutes, 55 seconds. Bumped off the puck. Quick feed to Joseph. Hershey's got it in their own zone. Takes the feed. The Crunch have gained possession under man. Here they come up along the wing. Hershey's got the puck now. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. The Crunch have taken possession along the wall. Wide of the net. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Excellent stick work on the play. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Made that stop. Woodkowski's teammates kill off the penalty. Well, somehow they worked their way through that last power play. The penalty killers get the job done. It's not been a very smooth night for them. The Bears move the puck in the defensive zone. 
Here's a chance. Comes up with a monster save in front. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Great hand-eye coordination as he gets the puck back. Sprong stick handling in his own zone. Nice pass. The Crunch have the puck against the boards. Takes the feed. Maintains possession. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Sends a pass over. Can't find his man. Drives to the sweet spot. Big save. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. This shot comes from a real dangerous area on the ice. But the goalie's in position, and he makes a nice stick save. Hershey's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Pumps the puck away. Right in the slot, and that's picked off in front. Takes the feed from the left side. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Dishes it to Thomas. Slides the puck over. Hershey's got control of it now from their own end. Syracuse plays it along the wing. The Bears have it against the wall. Hershey's got a hold of the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. The Crunch have possession along the boards. Takes the feet at the back end. Hershey's got the puck in their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Hangs onto the puck. Battling for it along the boards. Centered out in front. Rocks him. The Bears gain possession along the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. And now he moves it quickly to Colton. Syracuse with possession in their own zone. Through center along the wing. Takes a shot. Oh, what a stop. Grabbed along the board by Johansson. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. Now a quick pass to Carr. Pokes the puck away. Hershey's on the attack. Syracuse moves ahead with the puck. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. The Bears gain control of the puck against the wall. Through center. Here's an odd man rush. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Move to the middle. Comes up with a stop. Moves it to Sprong. From the neutral zone now. Hershey's got the puck against the boards. Sends the pass over and makes the save. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. And that's broken up. Angles it over to Smith. Here they come on the attack. Let's it go from the slot. Stones him in front. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Taking care of business once again. And they're off to the Stanley Cup Finals. That pass goes a little sideways. And that's all she wrote for this series. They are off to the Stanley Cup Final. I mean, this is an incredible moment for this team, but how much can you savor this here, Ray? Well, you got a couple of days, and that's about it. And then you start focusing in on whoever your opponent's going to be. You start to work and make sure that you're prepared. But enjoy it now. You don't get this very often. Ray, I love the tradition, but it's got to be hard when you come up short. You feel really low because you've given everything you have, and you shake hands with somebody that's just beaten you. Well, they're going to touch this thing or what? Prince of Wales trophy usually gets ignored when it comes to the hands. Oh, man, I hate that. Touch the trophy, you earned it. What the heck does it matter if you touch the trophy and what's going to happen in the next series? Enjoy it. You won, man. On behalf of Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us. Good night.